All right, hello, I'm DJ Bernard B, and I'm doing this quick tutorial for some of my DJ buddies who might not know about this program called Beatport Pro, and it's actually a free program. It was made by DJs for DJs, um, and I know it looks similar to iTunes for all my Mac users. Um, and it works sort of the same, but a lot better. Um, it's fairly new. It's only been out for a couple months. Um, so it still has a few little glitches in it. But for overall, I really like it. Um, and as you see, basically, it sets everything up like a normal um, interface would or iTunes. You have your title, your artist, uh, BPM genre, bitrate, um, format, mood, key, and there's a lot others if you do a right click there's so many other categories that you can um, add to it but that's all I have for now um, sorry about the pop up okay um, over here in the left hand column you'll see the collection um, if you take the tree up you'll lose everything bring it back down and you'll see your music mixes tracks streams parts sounds loops one shots and effects now that's the cool part because this software has the technology and the intelligence to know the difference between a track and a mix or a loop a sample or one shot um, so if you have a bunch of one shots and you don't want to use it but you want to keep them all in one place great thing so you and once you import it it'll do the work for you um, for instance we click on one shots and it's gonna bring up all of our one shots um, all the one shots that I have in here um, and you click on it and you double click so I keep getting these pop up and then you'll do and you'll it's a um it's basically a one shot. Um then same thing for uh sounds. Um this is a loop. Um and so you have then if I want to see just my loops, here are all of my loops or you know because it's a long loop depends on where it's is placed at um, and as you see at the bottom here this is your indicator for all everything that you click here um, tracks they have this type of icon here um, and these are all of your tracks that are in your collection um, and I have everything in by artists um, so then you go here to your mixes and if you have a mixes that you just want to keep all once again everything is all nice and together so if I go here this is one of my mixes here um, it's labeled other now I'm going to use this mix to show you how to how easy it is to change stuff in this software I'm going to go up here it's a 80s and 90s R&B mix which is then we'll go to artists and I'm going to include my name as the artist and hit enter just that simple then where it says genre we're going to do this is a I'm going to take out other I don't want other this is an R&B So R and B and funk. And hip hop. So I can come here instead of typing it in. We can do funk and R and B, which will just take away those two. So you can come here. I showed you how to type it in. Now you can come here and just click and then we'll go to 
R&B and hip hop. And then we'll just go to hip hop. Which everything should be in alphabetical order, but this is when I'm doing it myself. Here's the hip hop there. And we're just going to hit done. So now, if I go into my mixes and I add a filter, which is a filter is here, and I click genre, um, and I click R&B, it's going to give me all of my mixes that are R&B, and I'm going to click r and uh, let's go back and hit Funk and R&B. See, there it goes. And then we'll hit Hip Hop. Then you'll get a couple more pop up. And then the more genres you add, the more um, mixes that'll come up in that genre. So now that's how that part works. So then you come here and you hit delete and you're back to where you started um, then if you come down farther on the left hand side you have your playlist just like you do any other playlist um, I'm gonna go into my top 40 because I spent a lot of time working on this playlist um, yesterday and I'm gonna finish it up today um, we'll go into We'll just click here, Hungry Like a Wolf by Duran Duran, and it says dance. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do a check to see what Beatport says. So I'm going to sync with Beatport. You must be on the internet for this to work, of course. So we're going to sync with Beatport. And we have a bunch of them in here. Um, and for me, I don't see any. So we'll do, so now I'm going to take out this and I'm just going to do Duran Duran. And then we're going to do Hungry. And once again, uh, let's see. I don't see anything that match, so I'm not going to bother. I'm going to leave it as it is. But I don't like the genre. Duran Duran is rock, what I consider rock anyway. So it's my playlist. That's what I want. So I want to go here to my rock which I don't see go up here don't see it so I'm going to take that out and then we're going to just add the rock folder here so click done on that one and we're done and it's going to say rock so like all of these Elvis Presley's here that are marked dance show you how you change a bunch of them at one time. I'm going to take off the emotions. Okay, so all of these, if you look here, all of them are going to say dance, but we want all Elvis Rock, Elvis Presley as we know. That's rock and roll all day. So, let's come back up, and then we're going to do good old rock and roll. And you'll notice it's going to ask me, do I want all five to change? Yes. So now, all of them have changed to rock and roll. And once again, um, we'll go here to the something else that I, I want to touch on really quick. Like I said, you see your genre, your bit rate. Um, and about this bit rate really quick 128 is the lowest that I go and these are from some really really old CDs that I had um, a while back 
But if I go into my music collection, um, the full music uh, audio, you'll see these tracks here are at like 320, um, and it's still loading because my collection is really huge. But um, even with the wheel going, you'll see these are like 320s, um, the 128, the 160s, the 192s. If you have anything lower than 128, get rid of it because that's your sound quality. And you've compressed it so small till that's just not a good sound. And the bigger the system you play it on, the worse it's going to sound. So let's go back over here. Let's wait to it's still loading some more tracks. Let's go back over here um, into let's. Uh, I'm trying to go into my Beatport folder to show you how Beatport Sync works. Oh, and I forgot I was talking. I was getting ready to say about mood. Um, what the mood folder does. So. Um, We'll come back on a, on a part two, and then we'll get into the mood, and I'll show you some more tips and tricks. But basically, this is Beatport Pro, and it, you can sync it to Serato and to Tractor. So once you make your playlist here, everything, all your B, your uh, BPMs, your um, bit rates, format, everything that you put in, your mono tags, will show up in your software. So um, let's go, like I said, Beatport Pro. Um, let's click this one here. See, it already has everything there. So let's go back to this one and we'll try. Let's try Cindy Lopper's Girl. Just want to have fun. Let's see if it'll find it in there. And see, here we go. Original mix, it says Pop Rock. We'll click on it and watch everything. Oh, watch everything over here change. Go ahead and click done. See now we have the um, my album artwork. We have the name, um, the album, everything here. Um, same thing. Let's do David Boy. Um, we're going to sync it. Now look where it is now. Um, it says new music track CD because that's where I took it from. But we're going to sync it with Beatport and see what Beatport finds. Um, no. Didn't find it in there. Um, so when I don't find it in Beatport, I pretty much leave it alone. A lot of these I don't um, do. Here is the original mix, and this is the artwork. I remember the artwork. Once again, pop rock. So we're going to hit done. And there's the album artwork. It's going to give you so you know all your mono tags are as close as you can get them. Let's try this Diana King. Remember that? And there it is. Album version, funk, and RB, which I'm going to change that again. Um, because that's a to me that's a reggae song um, so I'm gonna change that back to reggae um, and we'll add uh, R&B so and then mood I was gonna show you about this mood tag mood tag um, we're going to say this is thick and driving. Um, 
done and then Falco. We're going to choose um, female Falco. And then we're going to click done on that. And then set time. See, it also lets you set your stuff up to this is a let's say this is a uh, opener um, warm up um, and done and while I'm at it let me show you venue The venue is what type of venue you think you play this in? Um, a bar, pool party, personal, um, and terrace, patio, beach. These are places that you think you play this song at. Um, what version? What version is it? This is the master. See, and then we're gonna give it a four star rating because I like it. The energy is a three. So, and now, once again, once you get all your tracks together, up here, if you look, if I want to go in this playlist and I want just the R&B songs, I can click on my R&B, and it's just going to pull up all of my R&B. And then, same thing, I'm going to delete that out. And I just want to pull out the reggae. There we go. That's what's in this playlist. And it's only doing what's in this particular playlist. So, once again, this is Beatport Pro. Um, I'll come back with a part two. Y'all let me know what y'all think. DJ Bernard B, Southern Music.